Hey, it's the voice of Indiana County. It's WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160, and WCCSradio.com. I have to wait until my computer catches up with me here, Christy. So uh, it'll, it'll be just a second. Long enough for me to tell you. I, I promised the folks I would tell them about this. Uh, Mammo Glam is coming to IRMC's Women's Imaging Center. Now, what is this? Well, as you know, Mammo Mondays are on Mondays, uh, and you can walk in and get your mammogram. You don't have to have an appointment. Well, they are extending the hours uh, for 3D mammogram screenings, and uh, they're having this free community event on Monday, October the 23rd, from 4 to 6 p.m. at the Women's Imaging Center. You can meet the Comprehensive Breast Center team, uh, enjoy a mocktail, that's a non-alcoholic drink, and appetizers, uh, get a chair massage, have a complimentary mini makeover, uh, schedule or receive a mammogram right then, and they'll have some free giveaways too. And everybody who goes is also entered to win a KitchenAid stand mixer. Uh, so that's a very, very special event. And uh, ladies, uh, you can get yourself registered RSV by calling 357-7188, 357-7188. Eight eight for Mammo Glam at IRMC. All right, now my computer's caught up, and I can talk to Christy Uton from the Salvation Army uh, here in Indiana County. Christy, good morning. Good morning. It's good to have you back with us. Our conversation is brought to you by Marcus and Mac, voted best personal injury law firm in the Best of Indiana County contest. Marcus and Mac, a law firm representing injured people. The Salva- I said before, the Salvation Army folks haven't been on with us for a while, so it's good to get you back in with us because you've got a really busy season coming up, and, and you need to get ready for that. We do, and we've been we've been MIA for a little while because we have a new officer. Mm-hmm. She um, came in July, so we've been kind of getting her um, connected with the community and just um, getting her up to date because the season is um, – in full force right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it really ramps up for you. It does. Um, we're having a volunteer sign-up night. That's why I was coming in. Um, just to publicize the need for volunteers for the upcoming season. Um, the event's going to be on October the 18th. That's a Wednesday from 5 to 7 um, at our location at 635 Water Street. Mm-hmm. And uh, the general public can come in or groups or businesses to come in and just um, visit and see what um, programs we have yeah. that are in need of assistance. We have a lot of programs that we do um, that require uh, not of an, only dozens, but hundreds of volunteers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, we think of Salvation Army and we think, oh, you need people to ring bells. And yes, you will need people to ring bells, but yes. there are so many other volunteer opportunities for folks. Yes, uh, we have. We just started our Angel Tree um, application. So our Angel Tree and our Adopt a Family is our seasonal supplemental Christmas program. Uh, right now we have over 250 families that have signed up. Wow. So we will need help um, in December with, you know, organizing, sorting, and bagging those gifts for the families to come in. Mm-hmm. Uh, we also need help with collections of those toys. Yeah. Uh, our n- most recent upcoming event is our Coats for Kids program. Uh, that's a big program each year that um, the Army um, supports. Uh, Project Bundle Up is the is the is the main program, mm-hmm. but here in Indiana, we um, we take the families that signed up for Christmas, and then if they need a coat, they receive a coat through that program. And we are asking that if anyone has any um, new or gently used coats they want to donate to the Salvation Army, um, please do that before October twentieth. Okay. So right. and we they know. just need to bring them to the to the yeah the six thirty five Water Street location. Okay. okay. All right. So that's a way that folks can help. Yes, and that's an easy way. I, I know a lot of people are probably cleaning out their closets right now. Mm-hmm. So if you have some coats laying around, um, you know, anywhere from birth to, to you know, adult sizes, we take those. Uh, and, and we have children that receive coats and then also seniors in the community. If they're in need, they need to give yeah. us a call. Yeah, okay, that'd be great. That'd be great for folks to do that. Yes. Especially, you know, when you think about the young kids, they grow out of their clothing so quickly Yes, that most of those winter coats um, are gently used, if if at all, <laughs> because the kid is into it and out of it so quickly. Yeah, if they don't break their zipper, it's usually, it usually will survive. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, a lot of coats um, are only used, they're not worn more than a year because they, they grow so fast. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So those are a couple of volunteer opportunities. What else? Yes. We also have our Arc of Learning program. Uh, we started it up. We have a director now, um, Joanne Thompson. We're, we're very um, blessed to have her in our, our staff now. 
Um, we have the Arc of Learning. It's three days a week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursdays from 3 to 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. And it is an after-school um, program that assists with um, tutoring. Um, we also serve dinner and do um, character building activities with the children. So um, right now, Indiana area is busing um, children that are interested to our facility on Water Street. And then also anyone interested outside of Indiana is welcome to bring their children in. Yeah, okay. So, so. that's yet another great opportunity yes. for folks. And, and all of these are things that uh, folks can do to help the Salvation Army as it helps folks who are in need. Yes. Um, and two other big ones. I know you touched on um, bell ringing. Mm -hmm. uh, our Red Kill kickoff is coming up on November the 9th, and that will be at the KCAC. Mm -hmm. So um, the invites are out, so please you know, watch your mail. But that's another program where um, the money that goes into those cattles each year goes stays strictly in, into the community here. So um, we're always looking for bell ringers, and we know that um, – over the years, our, our ringers have gone down in our location, so it's very important that we man the locations we do have. Yeah. So if you're interested in volunteering for an hour or a couple hours, um, let us know. But during the event, you can sign up and save your slot because if you wait, you might not be able to get the, the, the slots that you want. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and people do this as individuals, but they also do them as companies mm -hmm. and as organizations uh, that volunteer their time. They pick up a whole schedule for a day or so and... Uh, and that's all. Mm -hmm. Whatever people can give of their time is is always appreciated. Yeah, it's always nice if um, someone can they can a company can take a whole day and break it up, so they their um, employees can do half an hour or an hour here. Yeah. And we only ring typically from eleven to seven. So if you can fill up those slots, that saves us um, time finding going yeah. out and finding others to fill that slot mm -hmm. or. Ultimately, it goes empty, so yeah. and we don't want to leave those slots empty. Yeah, you want those kettles uh, collecting as much time as possibly can. Yeah, because the need this year has been so great, and I know a lot of the funding's low, but we need to really um, gear up on kettle season because that will be our funding for the next upcoming year. Yeah, all right, so you said you had two events, and kettle was one, right? The kettle, and then we have, um, we have the volunteer night coming up, but um, that'll be on... The October the 18th, mm -hmm. where everyone can come in and and sign up for all the events yeah. there. Um, the only one I didn't touch on was our Thanksgiving dinner. We do that at the Eagles. Um, mm -hmm. They graciously um, donate their space to us. Uh, it's on Thanksgiving Day, and then we, um, we prep the entire week. So we usually have about 100, 150 volunteers during that week to prep. We do like 25 turkeys, 200 pounds of potatoes. Um, but it's a great event, and it's free to the community. Um, and it's held Thanksgiving Day at noon at the Eagles. Wow, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of birds. Yeah, and that's a lot of peeling and a lot of, <laughs> a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, sure. <laughs> lot of stuff. It's a lot of preparation is it what is. it is. And, and you need folks to help you do that because you serve so many people. And uh, mm -hmm. for, a, for a lot of folks, that, that, that's their holiday right there. Yes. Yeah, a lot of people come in. Uh, we do offer takeout, but a lot of people just come in. They want a fellowship and talk with others. So, sure. And it's nice that they're able to come in and. And have that meal and not have to worry about, you know, traveling or prepping for that huge meal because it is expensive. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So all of those are great opportunities for folks with the Salvation Army. I'm sure, I know you have a very active Facebook presence. Uh, and you've got the website, of course, as well. But uh, mm -hmm. if folks want to get in touch with you, that, those, is that the easiest way through Facebook? Yeah, through Facebook. Um, they can message us or they can call our office directly. Mm hmm and then we get the messages instantly. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Um, you mentioned the the new. Uh, what what what's the term? Our new officer. Officer. Yes. Yeah, um, okay. Captain Erin um, Rishway. Um, she came in in July originally. Um, well, she is originally from New Jersey, but she came to us from Uniontown, Pennsylvania. Uh huh. So um, she's excited, and she's got she's. I would say she's got more than her feet wet at this point. But we are looking forward to a great season with her. She is ready to go. Um, yeah, yeah. And you mentioned Angel Tree because it's such a it mm -hmm. become such a, a big important part of what you do uh, for folks who want to actually uh, uh, participate in Angel Tree by getting gifts uh, for whoever happens to be on that tree. Um, when are they going to be able to do that? Uh, the tags are going out November the sixth. Okay. Um, they usually go out. Um, about early November, mm -hmm. and we put them out so people can have time to shop 
and then we pull them back um, around December 10th. Mm-hmm. And that gives us two weeks to organize everything, get them in bags for the families to come. Yeah, and what locations will they find age retreats? Um, right, and we did send the applications out. They're slowly trickling back in. Uh, they will be at um, the Indiana Blairsville Walmart. Um, Fox's Pizza is a, 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 a supportive member for us. Um, Marion Center Bank in first. Um, there could be other locations too. Come there's up. many locations. Yeah. Um, J.C. Penney, and we'll have one set up at the mall mm-hmm. and right. the YMCA. So they'll be everywhere. That's <laughs> Just terrific. keep an eye out for them. That's terrific. And folks can make Christmas a really special time for some some needy po- folks, uh, especially some kids. Yeah. Yes, that'd be great. That'd be great. Anything else, Christy? Um, I. We did, we did, and I know I was calling a lot of people about locations. We did find a location for our angel tree um, this year. So um, Miller Fabrication Solutions in Homer City will be um, sponsoring our location this year. So we're very happy that they accepted us. So um, we will be there this year. And um, just a, a shout-out to um, the 700 Shop for partnering with us for the Coats for Kids oh, yeah. this year again. Terrific. So, yeah, Josh is a great guy. So um, we're glad that we're able to partner again. Yeah, yeah. He'll he'll reach out for anybody that's in need. Yes, he's, he does. He's a really good guy that way. Very good, Christy. Uh, that is a lot that you've brought to us here today, <laughs> and uh, folks can check it out on our Facebook page, too, if they've missed any of this information. But uh, we'll also get Erin uh, in here and uh, meet mm-hmm. her officially. Yes. And uh, pretty soon we'll be seeing the Salvation Army Red Kettles out there. It's a really important time of the year for them and, well, for all of the community. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you. It is the voice of Indiana County. It's WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160, and down uh, WCCSradio.com. Almost said, and downtown Indiana. Well, we're in downtown Indiana, and downtown Indiana Incorporated coming up in our next half hour. Sam Kenley, most likely, um, but you never know who shows up for DI, uh, but they'll be here. And then at 9.45 this morning, uh, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And Dr. Margaret Clark will kick off our breast cancer awareness uh, uh, spots. We do one a week through the month of October. Dr. Margaret Clark is a radiologist.